today. From TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida, it's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. You'll see Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Taking on Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. The calendar may say autumn, but temperatures are still pretty sweltering here in North Florida. But the good news, the radar is clear. Still hydration will be key today at TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with the Tennessee Titans. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. And that one off the mark. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. His throw out getting in and a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. Here's Tannehill. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Now Lawrence on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Zach Ertz. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. Now on second and 13, Tannehill. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he lost the football. And the Jags grab it. And he brings this one back. A fumble return for a Jacksonville score. This is on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football. Don't cough it up. And sometimes it's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what you do. Rising in a unit, you feel like you can. And when you look at this team, you definitely think that it is because anytime you can tell your offense, just get us a couple of touchdowns. We got this thing locked down everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Here's Tannehill. Got his man. That's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. This has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. There he right goes, shoulder, right baby. side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown got to be exciting for those guys on the defensive side of the ball. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Fresh off the pick six, it's Tannehill. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Now a first carry here for Robinson. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a give right side, Robinson. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. And that is incomplete. On second down, there's the option going left. And he'll be taken down at the 34. On third down, Lawrence flushed out right. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. 
last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. A little confidence in him and let him fling another one. Henry again on second down. And that one blown up quickly. And it brings up third down. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. And this is going to be caught. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. And he'll protect himself at the end. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage. They go play action with Lawrence. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. And almost start over and get back to that confident level and know that he can play the game because so far, this has been a real struggle. Yeah, absolutely. He's now it's Tannehill. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. Touchdown, Titans. Now ETN to start the drive. And he's able to plow forward from the 29. Lawrence. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chanel. Robinson now off the option. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Now Lawrence to throw. Flush to his right. And Sharp calls it in. 20! Touchdown, Jaguars! DJ Chark, his third touchdown now on the year. Urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute, who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They'll start on the ground, it's Derrick Henry, and not much to speak of. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And it's Ha Ha Clinton Dix with a pick. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson. On the run, it's Robinson. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. On first down, it's Robinson. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. And this throw incomplete. Now Lawrence eluding the pressure right. And Lawrence going to smartly hit the deck here. Robinson. And this is going to result in losing yardage. Play action. It's Lawrence. Sliding out of the pocket. And he takes it in. Touchdown. Jacksonville. A bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Tannehill now to throw. Looking sideline incomplete. On the defensive side of the ball, <laughs> they get big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. 
They're having a blast out there playing against him today. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Julio Jones all alone. Touchdown, Titans. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down. They run. Robinson. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Here's Lawrence to throw. Escaping the pressure right. The open man is Shark. It's complete. The Titans going to use the first of their timeout. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he'll go down at the 28. And Lambo will put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round as we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5. We'll get started up at Lucas Oil Stadium in the capital city of Indianapolis. And it's the Colts who have the lead in the second quarter. Antonio Brown. A touchdown reception. From there, we head down to sunny Miami to check on the Dolphins at home at Hard Rock Stadium. And you can see there, it's the visiting L.A. Rams who have the lead in that one. Van Jefferson, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh. Check on the Steelers at home at Heinz Field. And they lead the visiting Baltimore Ravens at halftime. Najee Harris. Over 100 yards on the afternoon thus far with a touchdown run as well. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in this second half. To return, here's Agnew. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard. Second half starts with a run by Etienne. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. On first down, right back to ETN. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. And he'll get up to the 43. Flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Here's ETN. A gain of three. On second down, a run with ETN. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker. Very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. On the give, this is their fullback. And he picks up the first down yardage. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he's brought down just outside of the 10. On 
on second down now. It's Patterson, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Once more, they turn to Patterson. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Patterson. Able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plate. Just like that. Just like that. Etienne. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pick. Once more, ETN. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. And his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. Tannehill. Throw left side here, hold in by the tight end, Ferkser. And did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. Now Tannehill. And yeah, that is incomplete. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Brought down at the 32. And a hill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he dropped it. Wide receivers on the field as a defender. I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Throwing again on second and 10. Tannehill. Looking right sideline. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And that will be incomplete. Now ETN to start the drive. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Oh, design run for their wide out. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. And finally taken down at the 30-yard line. A handoff for ETN. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A give to the fullback on the dive. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. They run with Patterson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10. They'll run with ETN. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll move him a little closer. He'll try again. And he'll get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Cordero Patterson. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. On first and 10, Tannehill. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. Easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Oh, the ball comes open because they nearly got to him there. And it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. This will go to Henry out wide. Off the option, here's ETN. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage. On second down, it's Patterson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. On second down now, it's Patterson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Offense. Come on, on second down, it's Patterson. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll keep it on the ground. 
It's Patterson. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Clock counting down toward 42nd. It's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Where were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Jaguars, they improved to 5-0 now on the young season. 